Welcome to another segment with Dave and myself. Today, a lot of you say to me, Tone, I can't sleep. Three in the morning. I'm <laughs> wide awake. They call you Tone? Oh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they call me something else. <laughs> sometimes they swear at me a lot. You know, you know or something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You can't sleep. Three in the morning, you're being pulsed. Smart meters are going, and you're like, oh, yes, and I'm awake now. What am I supposed to do? And you're laying there for two hours, twiddling your thumbs, why, and you can't sleep. Okay, you know, it's the aluminum here. We have some aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, we, we sprayed some copper on here as well. Now, that's not mandatory. I did it. But anyway, see here, I don't know if you can get the reflection. See, we got a little copper there. All right, now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see a bit of... Uh... Now, the, the idea behind this is we're going to make a Faraday cage. And you see the string hanging here? We're going to hope that when we do this, it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> well, what's, what's the basic idea behind the basic Faraday? The basic idea is we're making a canopy over the bed. Now, you're laying in bed, and you are getting pulsed. Now, if those of you on the second floor of a house, of a house, or if you're at the top floor of an apartment complex, you are getting full bore on, full on, harping, Power frequencies, smart uh, smart Wi-Fi frequencies, whatever. Now, before you go to bed, you should unplug your modem, unplug your computers, unplug your phones, and don't bring your cell phone to the bedroom with you unless you wrap it up in aluminum so it keep, doesn't pulse you while you're sleeping. Because when the smart meters get pulsing, they are sending data back to the hydro companies or electrical companies about what you use that day and it's all being done at 3 a.m. doesn't matter what time zone you are you are in you are getting awake because I get mm -hmm. calls from all over across Canada United States even Europe on the fact that they can't sleep at 3 in the morning so in Windsor I have the biggest thing that I deal with sometimes next to some of the other crazy things that some people bring to me is sleep uh, problems and there are five or six things I give people first to help them sleep but you've got to block the frequencies now this, as you can see, we've got this all over the place. I don't have it back here. Now this here is an aluminum wrap that they use for wrapping for keeping things cold. Now you can go to uniline.com, or uline, sorry, uline.com, and you can buy a roll. This is about 200 bucks for a roll. I forget how long the thing is. And you can cut it, and you can tack it on with a staple gun or whatever, or you can attach it to a tarp if you like. So that, the, you know, it's, it's a tarp, it's hanging on a tarp. You can do front and back if you want to, double layer it if you like, and then tag it on, however way you, you think you can do it. Uh, it's just to go around the walls or even to put against your windows to block the frequencies from coming through or to disperse them so they, they disperse away. Now, what we're going to show you here, if I can do this, they are not, okay, get what you can do is go to any dollar store and pick up these aluminum blankets, they're like a buck. Take two of them together lengthwise. Lengthwise, yeah, lengthwise. So that you got about eight feet of, of uh, covering. And what you want to do Hey, this might work. <laughs> might just work, huh? This might work. Want me to hold it? Yeah, you can get that. Hold on, Hang on to that. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. We're going to record the rest of the segment of you inside of there, Tony. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Over? Almost. Okay. All right, that's good. Now, we don't want to pull too tight because... All right, now. <laughs> Can't see me. Ha -ha. All right. Now, as you can see, I made a canopy here. Well, actually, let's do it like this. Oh, man. I was enjoying it quite. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're making a canopy here, right? So this way, what happens is when you're laying in bed, this is over... 
one part of the end of the bed, this is over another part, okay? And the idea is it's not going to touch your skin. Now, while you're sleeping, this will deflect and disperse a lot of the frequencies that are, being, are hitting you. Now, you can double up or triple this up. You can make this as thick as you like if you want. But this is a very simple means of diff diffusing or dispersing the frequencies that are hitting you at night while you're sleeping. And when you do this, you may find all of a sudden you'll be able to get back to your normal sleep patterns again or be able to get that into that, that sleep to regenerate and reproduce um, the growth hormone response. Because when the growth hormone cycle is being uh, disrupted, you cannot regenerate. And when you're exposed to all the things that we're exposed to today, you need that regeneration cycle in order to repair the damage in your body. So as you can see, here we go. It's a simple little canopy that you can all do. Okay, Inexpensive, two bucks. Now you can get two or three of these things. You can make them as wide as you want, as long as you want. The only thing you're going to have to do, the only thing you're going to have to do, Is at the head of the bed and at the foot of the bed. See, I got the little one here. So let's say that that was the head of the bed. So my head now is being covered here. So now you'd have to put a blocking agent here to keep the frequencies from hitting your feet. I'm wondering if even if you lay a, a, like a sheet underneath the bed, especially like you said, second floor apartment, like a lot of people have their you know the routers for computers or even if they have a tenant below something like this you know yeah, you could do it, sure. what what have you yeah. so i mean yeah the idea is to create a shielding that will work for you okay this is just a simple idea and remember like i tell you guys this is not the only end all be all way to do something okay? yeah i'm just showing you one simple little example for you that you can modify this and you can make it better than what i'm showing you but i'm just trying to get you to think you know measures and countermeasures they're attacking you with smart meters. They're attacking you with frequencies from harp. They're attacking frequencies with, with uh, towers, okay, tower frequencies. Uh, those of you who have a more advanced stage of more gallons, in other words, you're, you've got the red blotchy issues going on, you're scratching and you're feeling the pain, because well, everyone's got more gallons. Anyone who doesn't think they've got a, a case of more gallons has got a rock in their head. And if you look at that ocular uh, uh, video that we did, you're gonna see how much crap you've got going on it'll just be a matter of time before something will um, respond in you as well so go into any grocery store go into any mall go into any shopping place any public place banks whatever and when you walk into those places and all of a sudden if you feel like you're itching or all of a sudden you got something crawling and creeping inside of you or you feel a little ache and pain beginning that's because the frequencies and the Wi-Fi in that bank are attenuated to what's inside of you or what's on the skin of you. And as a result, it's activating those things. And you'll find that some of you, will, whether you go to a movie house, a bowling alley, a library, a school, whatever it may be, that, but that has this technology floating around and you may feel affected. So again, these are some things for you to maintain focus on. Now, for those of you who still think in terms of 1970, 1960, this video is not for you until something happens. Then you'll be digging for everything you can find, I assure you on that one. But for those of you who are understanding what's happening, feeling the effects of what's going on, this is a simple method, a simple process, and an inexpensive one, mind you, to help you, again, block some of the frequencies you can put barriers along your wall uh, like Dave said on the underneath the bed on the ceiling if you need to if you got a big window block it if you are on a second floor we start that off with try going down to the lower levels because every level you have will offer another layer of shielding and as a result you may find you, you will sleep better and you may find once you put these things on or spray a little copper even if you don't you may find that the room may deaden all of a sudden Feels like you're not hearing that ee or so going on in your head, okay? Because it's again starting to disperse the frequencies from coming in here. Like if you're listening to here right now, it's very quiet in here. It's almost like a stillness. Yeah, when you put it on, there was a dampening of yeah. sound effect. Even. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's no high pitch. <clears throat> so again, simple process, cheap, inexpensive, and effective. Okay, and anybody can do this anywhere on the planet. Alrighty. I, I do. Uh, Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just back to the whole Morgallons thing. Like you said, if you walk into a bank, 
and you're feeling um, itchy or, or whatever, essentially, I don't know if you've addressed this before, I'm even just not recalling right now, what would be the function of that? What, what, uh, what does that serve? You know, to the to the powers that be or what whatever that. Again, anything they activate, anytime they activate you, actually, these things cause a overhyped immune response in the cellular level, and as a result of that, the cells literally burn out, and the immune system becomes a very a very uh, exhausted. Okay, you're talking about this Ebola thing, Ebola, ooh, Ebola. Okay, this is how much nonsense is going on about Ebola. Number one, they have no cure. The Mainstream medical says they have no cure, yet they're going to have vaccines done by September. Now, doesn't that sound very coincidental that just at that point in time, kids are going back to school? Now, let's take another examination on this whole Ebola crisis. There are six million people living in that area, and only a thousand died. That is not an epidemic. That's that's across three countries, Tony. Yeah. That's not that's not just Sierra Leone. That's yeah. that's three countries. I don't know if that grand total is be between the three countries, but yeah, if it that's is, that's what it was. Three hundred was three hundred and something to one, five hundred forty something to another, and yeah. I mean it was it was ridiculous. The numbers don't don't warrant. And if you talk to people <laughs> over there, they're saying that's a normal thing, just like measles is over here. Ooh, you got the measles thing. Ooh, quick, we got to get a vaccine going. Well, you told me that someone called you from there and yeah. kind of informed you about that. Yeah. That they're, that they're not even really concerned about. Yeah. So, when you're hearing all this hyperbole and this, this overreactive response, okay, those of you who have a compromised immune system, whether it be from organs, whether it be from lines, whether it be from fibromyalgia, whether it be from digestive disorders, you need to buff, buff up your vitamin C, you need to buff up your zinc, you need to buff up your iodine, you need to buff up some of your copper levels, because that is what's going to help you resist this, these issues. High dose of vitamin C and iodine will pretty well keep you from being infected unless you've been compromised severely. Okay, it doesn't mean you, you can't get it, it just means that if you take this precautions, you can build up your system so you don't get it, or you can minimize any exposure. This, it's, just, it's almost as bad as Fukushima. You know, I keep telling everybody, we went through a cycle. Fukushima, 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 danger, danger, Will Robinson. Then we went over to the United States, and we have an economic collapse going on. Then we went over to Europe, and in the Middle East, the Jews and the Palestinians are wiping each other out. <laughs> And then we went to the Ukraine, and the Ukrainians have the Russians moving in. And then, oh, after that, we had a plane went down. <laughs> then we had more issues with the Ukraine and the Russians, and another plane went down. <laughs> and then we went back to the Middle East, and the Middle East and Palestinians are wiping each other out again. <laughs> now we have an economic collapse going on in Europe. Woo! And then we got Ebola. We started out with H1N1. Remember that H1N1 incurable virus? It's ooh, it's it's a pandemic. Ooh, vitamin C wiped it out. <laughs> And we went right back to full circle. Now we're back to Fukushima again. Oh, yeah? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody, I haven't heard anything somebody, recently. Somebody contacted me this morning. He says, yeah, I thought you said you were done with Fukushima. I said, oh, it's full circle. <laughs> oh, because they just had their anniversary, I think, right? I don't know what they did. Yeah, I think I, it was their anniversary, so they revisited them. Yeah, so again. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that was Okay, right. again, do not get caught up in mainstream bullshit. I'm, see, I'm keeping it very normal today. Hey, bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say it, Tony. <laughs> okay, you don't need to be frightened. You need to be aware, and you need to take measures to the countermeasures. Okay, they're they're giving you a measure. Come, come up with a countermeasure. Instead of, you know, crapping yourselves all the time, and you know, oh, ye, ah, ooh, ye, you know, because you hear some guru say, you need nano silver. That guru is crazy doesn't know enough about nano silver and she's and then they're digging up reports from the military that designed the nanoparticles <laughs> as a weapon as a means of weaponization something's wrong there the military does use nan uh, colloidal silver colloidal silver 70 parts per million or higher that's what they use okay they don't they don't use nano and they know if you put that in a soldier you're gonna wipe them out anyway it's a real fun game to cut through all this mess and you just have to stay focused and not listen to any guru i'm even telling you don't listen to me you know you need to stop <laughs> before you do your own research yeah do your right. own research i'm indicating something going on here you can agree disagree sit on, well there's no fence to sit on you're going to disagree or agree 
and because we sit on a fence that doesn't exist, you're just going to get smoked anyway from both sides. So you may as well make a, make <laughs> develop an opinion or develop some gray matter to make an opinion. Whatever whatever it works for you. All right. So there you have it. A, a simple little means to protect yourself while you're sleeping. Okay. Get some copper paint. Copper paint is cheap. It's about thirteen dollars a can. You don't need a lot. Just spray a little layer on it. You know, that's that's another way. If you want to buy copper strips, you can, but they're kind of expensive. If you want to buy a copper mesh, you may as well have a second mortgage because this stuff's super expensive. <laughs> uh, you know, get some copper paint. You know, and again, you don't need to. You can ground the thing, block the windows. You know, at night, uh, you may find that uh, when you take when you unplug your computer's uh, modem, you may find that'll make a big difference as well. Your cell phones, seriously, if you're going to take them in the bedroom at night, pop the battery pop the battery because that will amplify the signals or that or the smart meter will amplify the pulses from your phone so. well <clears throat> just real quick aside I, I told you before the segment that I met a guy who had a machine that could detect basically or listen to these frequencies and it was amazing when he turned it on that how much you can hear the pulsations of yeah. how this thing went off like it and we went outside and it was minimized. You go back inside and it was like, yeah, 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 yeah. like this thing was just yeah. going off the. I mean, I don't know how sensitive it is, but this thing was beeping oh, hard. Uh, it was a doctor on a, on a YouTube who had bought a device from Germany and from 3,000 feet away, from one end of the building to the other, 2,500 feet away, this thing was popping like a like a like a popcorn machine. Pop 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 pop. Oh yeah. You kind of think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's not just that the smart meters are pulsing through the walls, they're pulsing through your hydro lines as well. In Saskatchewan, they took them out. They took out the smart meters because they were burning the homes down. Mm, I did see some videos on that. And BC, that started about two years ago where the hydro companies or electrical companies from for those in the United States and other parts of the world, the hydro companies were putting them on and not removing the base plate. They were burning homes in BC as well. They were catching fires all across the western part of the United States and the west coast of Canada. Now Saskatchewan has enough brains to remove them, but Ontario, well, they remove them. Oh, that's just a freak of nature. <laughs> <laughs> and if you took those damn meters out, you'd be able to get back to sleep again. But what the heck, we gotta disrupt your growth hormone cycle, which is between two and four a.m. so you can't regenerate and you walk around half mass and then you can't figure out why you can't remember if you tied your shoes or not if they're velcro or laced you know you just because you're not resting and recovering hmm. all right this is maybe one means to help you guys out with that all right all right till the next segment from dave and myself nanu nanu see you then <laughs> <laughs>